and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Doing? You're fine. Come on now. Plenty of milk for both of you. Ed was in the lambing shed. Yeah, it's been a quieter day. I'm keeping an eye on this little lot for him. Did he get any sleep last night? Yeah, he got his head dead on the sofa for a couple of hours and then he had a couple more late this morning. I'm so worried for him. Hey, don't let him catch you saying that. He's scraping the bottom of his barrel as it is. You don't want to send him further, Dim. Well, I'm not telling him, am I? I'm telling you, you loaf. Steady on, you're not the only one who's worried. Please, tell me you ain't lost any more lambs oh, today. no, no, touch wood. Oh, thank goodness. Hiya, hey, you finished early, Clarish? All right, Emma, love. Yeah, Helen's letting me finish a bit earlier just while we're lambing. Oh, I brought Ed some coffee and a sandwich from the tea room. Good. He ain't had much of an appetite when he's over here. No, he's been the same at home. I'm hoping one of our fresh baguettes will get him going. Can't have him keeling over with exhaustion because he's not looking after himself. Hey, those fields are still covered in water. They need to start draining off a bit. Yeah, they will, look. Well, it needs to hurry up. We won't have anywhere dry for the ewes and lambs to go. Yeah, she's right there. It's gutted where well, we all are. Trust us to have so much rain... Just when Oliver sells that parcel of land, the only dry pasture there is. It'll drain off soon. Yeah, well, we need it now, Clary. We need the ewes and lambs out of the orchard and into the fields. I'm trying to be positive, Eddie. I've asked Oliver to give me the contact details for Titchener's solicitor. Oh? Yeah, to ask him if we can use the land, you know, while they're not doing anything with it. Yeah, that'll probably take the best part of a month getting back to you. Well, it's worth a try if it'll help Ed out, that's for sure. Anyway, better go and see him and then get back to work. Have a good day, you two. See you, love. Bye. Yeah, boy. <sighs> I've half a mind to just take the sheep over any road. We can't do that. Why not? It's not like anyone's watching. If it isn't our guests of honour. Oh. Isn't Robert coming? Oh, he's gone up to the room with the concierge to drop the bags mm. off. Good, because Oliver has some champagne ready for you both. Oh, the... <laughs> I, um, I just want to take this in for a minute, if I may. Of course. It's quite different from the Grey Gables foyer of old. Oh, completely. But it does make me nostalgic for my reception days. By all reports, you were brilliant. Well, that's very kind of people to say. Oh, this lighting is wonderful. Look at the centrepiece. The interior designer wanted to move away from the age-old chandelier, but likes the idea of a centre feature above the space. Hmm. You know, it's funny, I've seen all this before, but now it's up and running. It feels even better. Mm. You will let me know what you think of your stay? Positive or negative? <laughs> There's no one better to test us on our first day than oh, the Snells. Oh, my pleasure. I see you five-starred Ambridge Hall and left a very generous review. Oh. It's the least I can do, after the hospitality you've shown me. Mm. Except perhaps when you turfed me out of my room for Rylan. Now, that was really... I've got to go, oh. but I'll see you for feedback. Perhaps later today, after you've been to the spa? So, you are leaving, then? This evening, yes. My worker is done, as they say. Finally, and with a few hiccups. <laughs> what would life be without its hiccups? <laughs> I'll see you later. Indeed you will. Mm. Oh, the carrots are done, so I turned them off. OK, love. I've finished folding these and... Eddie, what is that massive hole doing in your sock? I call it air conditioning. I've asked Edward and Emma Rain for the tea tonight. Oh, that's good of you. Uh, might need more carrots, Mum. Eddie, you are not going to sit there in a holy sock in front of Emma. Well, she's seen worse than these. 
What do you want me to do? Wear a crown? Because my daughter-in-law's coming over for tea. Here. I'm a fresh pair. You all right, love? Yeah, thanks. It's raining again. Not again. Here. Have a towel, oh, thanks. Not as bad as last week, but there's more tonight, apparently. Uh, now as hard as a farmer's life. <sighs> Says the old man sitting in the chair by the fire. I've only just come in. And I checked your carrots. Oh, they're mine, are they? Are you not eating? She's had it in for me all afternoon. Stop winding each other up. It's him. It's not either of you. You're just worried. About the rain and the sodden fields and the dead ram lambs and the sold land. Oh, does it ever get any easier? No, yes, love. love. I'm so tired. I don't know how Ed's managing it. Here, Emma, love, did that Rebecca journalist show her face again? Not yet. Though she is meant to be coming back next week with her photographer to do a write-up on the tea room. Natasha's explained everything she wants, what pictures she wants them to take. She's so assertive. Was she, you mean? No, she's, she's really on the ball, you know? And she's got the twins to deal with as well. I've never even been half as assertive at any point in my life, but especially when the kids was little. We're nearly the same age as well. You will, we all have our own road to travel. Uh, I still feel bad about Natasha knowing we were sort of rigging the feedback for us for the music. You said she was fine about it. Yeah, she is, to our faces. But she's so professional. Yeah, you mean snooty? No. When it's her and Tom, I just do wonder what they're really thinking. Oh, don't go worrying about that. If she's fine with you, that's good enough. You and Edward have already got a plateful to deal with. <sighs> Ezra? Oh, Linda, hi. Well, fancy seeing you here. I know. Just had a massage. Oh. Now enjoying a hot chocolate? Ah. It's like I'm floating. <laughs> an out-of-body experience with an alternative me. Mmm. It's good to treat oneself, especially when we work so hard, mm. you in particular, Doctor. Easily done when it's on the house. <laughs> well, Robert and I are staying over on the house as well. Oh, lucky you. I've been wondering what the rooms are like. Oh, come and take a look. They're very nice indeed and practical. Some places are all about squeezing use out of every last square inch, but here they're spacious and so comfortable. Much better than before. I really don't know how they do it. Sounds very luxurious. As is this lounge area. Mm. Oh, it's so nice to have a resting space after a treatment and not have to get straight back out there. Agreed. My two favourite women. Oh, Ardil. Hey. What? He means his one favourite woman and his big sister. <laughs> oh, come on. Sorry, sorry. I mustn't embarrass him in front of his friends. <laughs> So, how was it? Well, I have to say, I'm a bit funny when it comes to massages, but that woman in there is a miracle worker. I feel so supple and relaxed. Oh, I must try a massage then. I had a mani-pedi and I am very pleased with it. Mm. Excellent. And anything you might like to see improved? No. No, actually. Really? Yes. yes. Maybe a two-for-one on treatments. <laughs> It's really not that kind of place, Azra. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I saw the price list. <laughs> but if you can afford it, it's lovely. That's brilliant. I'll let Roy know. He's taking the reins when I leave. <laughs> Don't you mean escape? Oh, Azra, he deserves a break. Thank you, Linda. Now, I'll leave you two to relax. Bye. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if he can slip away without a goodbye, he will. <laughs> I, um... I didn't mean to speak out of turn. When? Well, just now, saying he needs a break. You're his sister, and I'm merely his... Friend. You're his friend, and it's fine. It's probably true. <sighs> I'll miss him, that's all. Yes, so will I. He's asked me to watch his allotment, you know, Ardell, while he's away. Mm. I mean, sure, if he wants everything to die by the time he gets back. Oh, surely not. Oh, it's true. He's got the green fingers, not me. He really has. Well, I could give you a helping hand whenever you need. A helping hand won't do it, Linda. I need help, full stop. My garden in Solihull kept growing over and no one would cut it back when Akram left for Pakistan. Your husband? Yes, so I just called in a young gardener to 
landscape the lot. Oh, that's nice. Except landscape's a euphemism for cover with garden slabs and put a few potted evergreens in. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, Robert and I can help then. Three pairs of hands will make light work. I'll hold you to that. How many are we setting the table for again? Five. Here are still out in the shed with Edward. Yeah, they're coming in in a couple of minutes. <laughs> she does love them lambs. She does. And she makes Ed feel better, which is good. Your father-in-law's got an idea. Oh, yeah? All I was saying was, we should take the lambs over there any road. No one will see us. Yeah, but what if they decide to turn up like they did last Saturday and they see the sheep there? And what if they don't? Mm. Have you seen the keep out signs they've already put up? Oh, they wouldn't have a clue if anyone had been on their land when they're not there. Well, we don't know that. Look, that dry land is sitting there and our Edward needs to use it. Like we always have in wet winters. Now we've asked the question, let's just wait and see what Titchener's solicitor says <sighs> to Emma. And what's our Edward meant to do in the meantime, Hey. Just going to slip away? No, of course not. <laughs> I was putting the last of my things from the office into the boot and then coming to find you. Oh, yeah. I was. Well, it's not like it hasn't happened before. You know I like a break when a project's done, especially when I'm waiting on my next one, wherever and whenever that may be. And there's me taking a week off work to look for houses. You're the one who took the permanent job. So we could be near you? Well, that clearly wasn't the only reason, was it? And if it was, it was silly. What? Uh, Barge, please, think about yourself and the kids and Akram. Don't worry about me. I'm grown up. <sighs> you and I, and Akram, know that I will always worry about you until you settle down somewhere and have a family of your own. Please, not today. <sighs> Fine. Now, are you going to tell me where you're going? Daddy's farm, Raul Pindi. What? Where are you staying? With your husband, if you'll have me. He didn't mention a word of it. He doesn't know yet. I thought I'd just turn up, see the look on his face. You know he hates surprises. Exactly. Oh, you two deserve each other. He's a great guy, Barge. He is. It's you and me, remember? Before anyone else came along. Mm. After Mum and Dad. It was always me and you. I love you, Barge. Right back at you. I said that once when I was 17. <laughs> and you'll hear me say it until I'm 70, if I live that long. Inshallah. Of course you will. When will you be back? I don't know. Adil? No, really. Probably when my next project comes in, or just before. But please, sis, you'll be better sorting your own life out than worrying about me. Okay. <sighs> See you soon. Wait, meaning what? Adil? Miss you already. Have you what to call phone? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> and and these are these are all part of the. Uh, Paraphernalia of production. Ah, uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years. Um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever